Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Shine bright, sci-fi. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put yeah. the network. Till I see some millions. millions. I don't do relations. Bitch, fuck your feelings. Doing all that talk. Fuck. Just mind your business. Fuck. Get it out your body. I'ma catch you slipping, hey. I just wanna know what your man for. I don't want no sex, I want that neck, though. If you don't like me, what you in it for? I don't got no time for that last hoe. I be check your friend, she a hottie hoe. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that to get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. There's only one Instagram. For Vada Fly, Vada underscore Fly. Don't let anybody ever get you out there with a makeup or Instagram or some bullshit. It's only one Vada underscore Fly. You know who I be. Follow my man Showtime SP2. But check this out. Easy the Block Captain. Um, I've been talking about Easy for a little minute now, as far as even with the battles and his development and his growth and things like that, and how he's had a lot. Of veterans a lot this is how you know you be making traction when the veterans the people that are here established before you see what you're doing and they like nah somebody got to stop this y'all can't stop this y'all got all these Nick nobody could stop this and so far has been so good for the black captain nobody's been able to stop him completely whether you feel like he had debatables here and there or whether you you know people want to bring up battles that he had before he was on URL oh but he battled this person in 2017 and they beat him yeah I get it uh, in the NBA in the NBA they do not really talk about much to you losing to Georgetown or to you losing to uh, Marquette in college unless it was in like the you know NCAA tournament or the final four or something like that college is a good representation of you know talent that theoretically can show how good you are but once you make it to the professional league you kind of get like a new slate and everything starts clean so easy to black captain comes in a couple years ago you know he goes through uh the the, the process with the ultimate madness he battled at a time or two and then made a couple waves then he showed that he could really do it he was battling he battled against danny t-top cortez then he got rex and so on and so on and so on and He's 11 and 0 on the app. His battle with goods will drop someday this year. And he's probably gonna go to 12 and 0, you know what I mean? And he's become a problem. There's very few people, I've been thinking back to why, whether it be the old B Magic when he first started, Charlie Clips when he first started, even the Geechee guy, a lot of these guys. 12 and 0 is crazy. Even And then he had a proven ground battle that dropped on the YouTube channel, he won that too. So he could really be like 13, 14, and 0. And this is just running. Like, these, a lot of these are clear victories over established talent. Now, in recent days, DNA has been one, you know, who's been like, yo, I could, I could, I could, I could handle that mission. And there's been a lot of other MCs who's been, you know, wanting easy too, you know what I'm saying? I've been hearing whispers of Murder Mook potentially coming back out. And then a lot of other MCs too, but John John and Don. But at that time, like that's the only reason why it came about. Me and Easy is being mentioned because Easy said my name. Yeah, he's yeah. And you joined gun titles. Like, come on, bro. Like Salute to John John the Time and everything. He's going on Bullpen Battle League. Seems he's been putting a couple events together and things like that. And, you know, John John the Don had an interview yesterday with Hip Hop is Real and he seemed visibly frustrated when I broke down uh, the intricate details as far as like what he was talking about and the things that he was attributing to when it comes to easy to block captain and then you know it might have been a joke but it might not have been you know there were some things that John John quote unquote hated about easy to block captain he hates the way he talks he hates the way he dresses he hates the character that he was on Fresh Prince he hated that he had to pay $7.99 for an app for him to be in two episodes and it was just a lot of you know back and forth as far as with the interview. And you know, he had people out there with him, Sire Boy and others respectfully. And I'm gonna say this, John John Adon is a legend, you know what I'm saying, in battle rap. He's one of the best, probably the best 
prospect to come out of the proven ground. He's done the most, you know what I'm saying, like out of the proven ground system. Now, there have been other MCs who have had very good careers, whether it be T-Top, Chess, Briz was having a good career. He's, he can still come back and continue to have one. He's just going to have to stand in front of that round, you know, that round. The first time you battle against the first person who talks about whatever the situation is in its totality and gets the most reaction, kind of like when Rock battled Geechee. You don't ride with your niggas. You got to stand in front of that round, whatever that round is. And then once you get over that round, you know, you'll have more battles. Of course, niggas are going to have angles. But if you're nice like that, you're going to continue to move on. But back to this, right? So, John John's last two battles were Sue Surf and Ace Amin, respectfully. Um, Ace Amin battle was set up to be a home game for John John on his home league. You know, he pretty much took care of everything from security to cameras to the bar to his, you know, the crowd, everything was set up for him. And it did turn out to be a debatable, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna be honest with you, that shit kinda, it turned out to be a debatable. No real, nobody got smoked. It was a decent battle, but it was debatable. And then he battled Sue Surf, and then we know how the Sue Surf battle went, you know what I'm saying? Surf came out victorious, and then we hadn't seen John John in a couple months, you know what I'm saying? He hadn't had no battles, things like that. and. John John Adon as an MC is not an MC that loses a lot of battles clearly. So handling clear losses could potentially be a thing. You know what I mean? Like the bounce back, the what do you say? You know, everybody gonna be talking their shit once you lose a battle. And now he's back outside. And some of the things that he brought up, like, yo, you know, that nigga take one step back and now y'all starting to say Easy's giving him the shot. I, I do not consider that, you know what I'm saying? Because Easy's still a newer MC. So to say that he's giving someone a shot, the niggas that he'll be giving shots to is like the newer niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, whether it be the Kid Slays or shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Respect to him too, you know what I mean? But I don't think that he would be giving John John Don a shot. We're not doing that. Like, John John has been doing this shit forever. Like, since I, as far back as I can remember, grind time days, he was running around flaming shit. But see, the thing is about Easy, easy has got the formula figured out. He done had, this nigga done had damn near, I seen Pat State the other day talk. Pat Stay of all people was talking about easy to block captain other day. Pat Stay never calls out anybody. Not really like I never really see Pat Stay call out people like that. He's dumb nice and he gets busy in his own right. But I guess, you know, with these vets, they saying that easy to block like yo, none of y'all can't handle this. Like, do I have to go on this mission to make this happen? So uh John John also said that easy to block captain has never had this kind of attention in his life. And you know what I'm saying? Like he's never had this level of attention. And in some regards, I will agree because he's literally been thrusted up as one of the top MCs in battle rap, not just on URL, not just for 2022, in general, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't have Summer Madness if easy to block. You can have it, but you know what I'm saying? I'm just figuratively stating that. If he's not on the car, people are going to wonder why. And what really propelled him was the chess battle, you know what I'm saying? Chess battle versus easy was probably one of the better battles of last year. See, the thing is, what, what happens, right? Um, when that happens, and you have a, a certified classic with a killer, a good version of chess, and you don't die, <laughs> it's like, what? Well, this nigga really, he really, really serious. And this is somebody who three years ago, I never even heard of. I'm gonna be honest with you. I saw his name on a card or two flash by, but I can't tell you that I have a long running history of easy to block captain. Now, I see what certain vets like John John and like DNA and like others are doing in the, in the spirit of competition. Easy to block captain took to Twitter and responded to John John's interview. He said, "These niggas talk about me like I'm the only battle rapper right now. You're thirsty. I don't know who was doing the interview, but John, but shut up too, John John the Don, because he was saying like the person whoever it was was doing the interview and it was pretty pro." You could tell, like, by the way the interviewer is interviewing and asking the questions. I don't know who it was either, but respectfully, when you're asking questions like, um, yeah, I see it the same way you do, bro. Like, what makes it seem like he could beat you? Like, you know what I'm saying? He's talking pretty heavy right now. It's kind of like a, a biased perspective on the interview if you're not asking straight up questions like. So, you know, you've seen all the traction that Easy to Block Captain has been making. What you think about it? All right, yeah, well, you've been known to stop a lot of the new guys in their tracks. It's somebody like Easy, somebody you could be, you know what I'm saying? You're asking straight general questions, but when you say stuff like, you know, they, they was bugging when I heard it too. I, I figured I'd come to you. You know I was going to ask you about you when you do that. It's kind of like, that's why John, that's why Easy the Black Captain is saying you shut up too. Um, now, while I see 
a John John versus I think it, I think it's gonna ha it should happen. This is basically what I'm saying. I do think it should happen. I still like Cal. I still like Clips. And then after that, I would want to see Easy versus John John. I ain't gonna lie. He's moved up. You know, Easy got like 15 niggas on the list. <laughs> and I think John John would definitely be trending up because John John's like I can beat this. You know, and. He has no reason to feel like he can't. You know what I'm saying? Now there's a lot of people in the comments that's like, yo, this nigga John trying to hate him, you know what I'm saying? Niggas like him be trying to get the attention off of what another nigga got going on, but I don't really feel like he needs to clout chase per se because he's already have a solidified legacy and he's gonna be able to battle pretty much whoever he wants as he treks up. But this is another example of why I say Easy the Black Captain has had one of the best runs to start a career ever. Do I think he's gonna go his whole career without ever taking a defeat? No, nah, I don't think that's gonna happen. But at the same time, who you putting in front of him currently? You know what I'm saying? Like he's the best, he's the best thing smoking right now. And then another thing he was saying, John John was like, you know, he joined gun titles, then he signed with Lil Flip. He was basically saying that, you know, this is the thing that he was saying. I came in off my own regard. I didn't join no crew. I ain't trying to get down with nobody. I wasn't trying to be in a bunch of niggas' environments. I was just trying to do me. And, and smoke niggas and get on myself. But times have kind of changed to where we're in that era where the cosigns mean a lot and who rocks with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, it is still possible to get it out the mud or you could do the Geechee route where you get hot and you do EFB, you start pretty much your own crew where you're the one that's the top name and everybody else is a subsidiary to that. But then there's other people, you know, who get on with a big click you know, and he battled chess in there already. And the thing is that I don't mind about the gun titles thing is that he's still willing to battle surf, he's still willing to battle rock, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, John John said what he said, Easy has said also that, uh, you know, shut up. <laughs> but you know, other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, you know what I mean? Shout out to my guy, SP. Gang, gang, Easy, they on you. I, it is, yeah, 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 the whole game is after you now. Yeah, yeah, when you pull out, make sure you use your mirrors, look both ways, and respect all the traffic signs. Don't swerve into the wrong lane either, gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Shine bright, Sci-Fi. Hold on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck Putting in that work till I see some millions. I don't do relations. Bitch, fuck your feelings. Do it all that talk. Just mind your business, get it out your body. I'ma catch you slipping, hey, put it in that work. Till I see some millions, I don't do relations. Bitch, fuck your feelings, 